Hey, it's Craig, WJ6F. In today's video, we're gonna go over a couple of items to enhance your G90 or X5105. And they're the PAX 100 amp and the LPFX7 low pass filter from Radiotity. We'll get started right after this. Okay, first up we have the PAX 100. I want to get a couple of warnings out of the way. First thing they say is to make sure that on your G90, you have the automatic antenna tuner turned off to avoid damaging the PAX 100. Also, make sure that you have an SWR of 2.0 to one or less. And never run it with any more than 10 watts. The frequency range is three megahertz to 30 megahertz. Comes with all the needed cables. You have your input and out. Coming around the other side is the power cable. And right to the right of the power cable, you have the push to talk input. The whole bottom is a heat sink. And at the front with the radiotity symbol is the fan to keep it cool. Cables it comes with, you have your power cable. You have the push to talk trigger cable. You have input and output cables. This is how the back of the radio look once everything's hooked up to the power amp. This is how it'll look when you're using just the amp and you have it all set up. Going out from the radio, into the amp, out from the amp, to your antenna, your power cable, and push to talk cable. Okay, once you've got everything hooked up and turned on, right here shows that your antenna tuner is on. Just quickly press the tune button and it goes off. You also want to make sure that you are not over 10 watts. Hit power. Here's your main knob. Okay, for this part of the video, we're only going to be using the amp. We're going to be going from the radio to the amp, to the power meter, and into a dummy load. Now, per the instruction manual, you want to make sure that the automatic antenna tuner, which is this third icon right here, is turned off. Just go to the tune button, hit it real quick, turns it off. Okay, we're going to be first doing 40 meters, 7.150, and we'll see how many watts we get. We're getting about 80 watts on the center line here, for, which goes up to 200 watts. Okay, we're doing 8 watts in on 80 meters, 3.700, and we're getting about 110 watts. Okay, on 20 meters, we're getting about 70 watts out with 8 watts in on 14.200. 10 meters, 28.425 with eight watts in, we're getting about 35 watts out with eight watts in. Now we'll hook up the LPFX7 and see what kind of readings we get with that one. Here we have the LPFX7 low pass filter. It works on 10 meter, 15, 20, 40, and 80 meters. It has a power rating of up to 100 watts CW, 200 watts sideband. It's designed to work best with the PAX 100. You can use it with other devices, but it's just not going to work as well. As usual, the optimal voltage, 13.8. This green block is your power input. And then the connector on the right side coming into focus here is the output. And on the left side, you have the input. And what you get in the box is the white input-output cable and a power cable. I swapped out the power cable they give you for a bigger one as well as longer. And this is how to look when you have the LPFX7 hooked up. It's going to use the provided in-out cable. comes with the LPFX7. You'll go from out of the amp into the LPFX7. And then using the little coax pigtail that came with the PAX 100, you'll use that to go out to your antenna and then hook your power supply up. Okay, once you get the LPFX7 hooked up, you have an off button, 10 to 15 meters, 17 to 20, 40, and 80 meters. Let's go ahead and push it and you'll have a little blue light that shows up for whichever one you have set up and hit off if you don't need it. 
Okay, we have the LPFX7 set to 40 meters. We're tuned to 7.150 on the G90. And again, we'll be using the center scale. Going into a dummy load. And again, remember, you do not want to use the automatic tuner on the G90. And we're at about 55 watts with seven watts going in. Okay, setting it to 80 meters, 3.7 megahertz. We are now at 60 watts with seven watts in. Okay, setting it to 20 meters at 14.200 with seven watts in. We're right at about 40 to 45 watts. Now setting it to 15 meters also with seven watts in, we get about 20 to 25 watts, sometimes peaking up at 30, and seven watts in on 10 meters, set to 28.425, we get about 20 to 25 watts again. Let's see if we can't make a few contacts. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to make any contacts today. I have enjoyed using the PAX 100 amp and the LPFX7 low pass filter. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area below. While you're here, check out one of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.